In this video, I'm going to show you how to map SNOMED codes. SNOMED stands for Systematized Nomenclature of Medicine Clinical Terms. It is a numeric way to define medical terminology and is what the EHR world will be focusing on in the future to define clinical findings, since it allows for a consistent way to store and aggregate clinical data while reducing the variability in the way the data is captured. In the most simplistic terms, SNOMED will allow for interoperability between different EMRs, which is a major goal with the Meaningful Use Program. SNOMEDs need to be mapped for clinical quality measures as well as diagnoses. If you do not have SNOMED codes linked to the appropriate CQM data, you will not receive accurate statistics through the dashboard. First, we'll start out by looking at how to attach SNOMEDs to diagnoses. After you select a diagnosis, you will see the option to attach a SNOMED. If there is a one-to-one -one mapping between ICD-9 and SNOMED, or if you had previously attached a SNOMED and saved the user default, you will see the SNOMED already attached here. One-to-one -one mappings will occur about 60% of the time. If the SNOMED that is attached is applicable, then no further steps need to be taken and you can click OK. If no SNOMED is listed, or you need to change the SNOMED, click Search. The search list will automatically be narrowed down to the most applicable results. Most often, you will choose an option from this list. However, if you do not see an applicable SNOMED code, you can type criteria in the search box and search for something else. Once you find the applicable code, highlight it and click OK. If you would like to save this SNOMED as the default for this ICD-9, then click Save. Clicking Save will only save this setting for the user that is currently logged in. If you attached an incorrect SNOMED, you can click Search to change it. Or, if you would just like to remove the SNOMED altogether, you can click Delete. Please keep in mind that in 5.1 there is no automatic mapping from ICD-10 to SNOMED. This means that if you are selecting an ICD-10 code and would like to map a SNOMED to it, you will not see results automatically populating the search screen. You will be required to manually search for it instead. The automatic crosswalk for ICD-10 to SNOMED will be available in a future release. Now let me show you what it looks like to attach a SNOMED to a procedure. This process will need to be done for the applicable CQMs that require this information. After you select the appropriate procedure, you will see the option to attach the SNOMED on the right. Click Search to attach a SNOMED. And then you would want to type what you're looking for. When you find the correct option, highlight it and click OK. You will have the same options as we saw in the Diagnosis dialog to save your user defaults or delete a SNOMED if necessary. Once you're done adding SNOMEDs, you can click OK. Beyond the Diagnosis and Procedure dialog, there are two other areas that you can attach SNOMEDs to as well. First is the Surgical History button. SNOMED was added to surgical history for situations like NQF31, which is the screening for breast cancer CQM. In order to document the correct information for this measure, you could either add the SNOMED to a mastectomy procedure code or to a surgical history entry like I'm about to show you. If you prefer to add it through a surgical history, click New to add a new entry. Enter the surgery information at the top, and then click Search at the bottom to find the appropriate SNOMED. Enter your information in this dialog, and once you find the correct information, highlight it and click OK. Click OK once you're done attaching SNOMEDs, and then OK again to close your surgical history dialog. SNOMED information will not print in your progress note, however, it will be visible in the History tab.
The last area that you can attach SNOMED to is through a checklist. Some CQMs require documentation of information that is not necessarily a diagnosis or a procedure, and in which case you could use a checklist to document the applicable information and also the applicable SNOMED code. An example of this would be NQF55, which is the measure for diabetic eye exam. Documenting that the patient had a negative retinal exam could be done through a checklist and then linked to the appropriate SNOMED so that you still receive credit. First, you would open your checklist and select the appropriate finding. Then, you would want to right-click on the finding and select Update SNOMED. From here, you would click Search to search for the appropriate SNOMED. Type in your criteria, and once you find the appropriate item, highlight it and click OK. Click OK to close the SNOMED dialog and OK to close your checklist. So to recap, SNOMED codes are required in both Stage 1 and Stage 2. They are required for the patient's problem list and CQMs. I've included the list of CQMs here that Chartmaker Medical Suite is certified for in version 5.1 and requires SNOMEDs to be attached.